Hey guys, Nuka here. So this video is going to be a very quick video. Uh, pretty much just tips on how you can store your whole grain oats inside your Mylar bags for long term food storage. This is pretty much just like the video I showed you on how to store white rice. I'll post that video in the description so you guys can kind of see it. All you really need to do is have a couple items with you. Number one, you obviously need the, the whole oats. Number two, you need a pair of scissors. Number three, you need your Mylar bags. Number four, you're going to need a food grade bucket with a lid. And number five, you're going to need your Sharpie. Number six, you're going to need a, some duct tape so that way you can mark everything. And then number seven, you're just going to need a hot iron, something that you can iron, a, a surface you can use the iron on top of. Not a very complicated process. I'm just going to run a little quick overview just for specifically the whole grain oats. Same thing when you put these whole grain oats, and of course you can tell I got this from Walmart. For about two pounds, ten ounces, I paid somewhere around five, uh, or not five, but somewhere around three dollars, I believe. I think it was two dollars fifty cents, something like that. Not a bad buy. Whenever you're bagging this up, though, and you have this inside your Mylar bags, make sure that you also take the cooking instructions. Also, I know cooking oats is not hard. But if you've had this store for about five years and you never cooked oatmeal for some reason in the past five years and you happen to forget, or if you're sharing this with a friend of yours and they don't know how to cook oatmeal and you may not be able to tell them all the time, simply just cut off the cooking instructions, the paper, and just add it inside the food grade bucket. It also wouldn't hurt to get the caloric intake for your nutritional facts. So that way you can know everything that you're getting inside of your rolled oats whenever you eat them. So those are just kind of little quick pointers I would recommend adding in there. But really guys, all you have to do, pop the top off, open it up, and just like the white rice, you're just going to take your oats and you're going to store it inside of Mylar bags with auction absorbers. Now that video with the white rice, <clears throat> I'll show you exactly how to do it for the white rice. The same rule applies to these whole grain oats. Alright guys, so in order to store our whole grain oats, all we need, and like I recommend, the one gallon Mylar bags. <clears throat> just take your oats, after you try to examine it for some insects and pests, go ahead and dump it inside a one gallon bag. As you can see, that's actually a pretty good fit. One of these canisters here is a perfect fit for a one gallon Mylar bag. And I paid somewhere at the $2.50 or $3, don't exactly recall. You're just gonna take that bag with the Mylar, or you're gonna take the oats with the Mylar bag in it, and you're just gonna seal up the top. Once you have the top sealed up, also ensure that you don't get the little tearaways right there. Make sure you watch out for these. I would recommend that you iron above that. So that way when it comes time to ripping these open, you can just tear it open instead of having to have scissors or knives on you. Stored oats should last you from about 20 to 30 years if done properly. Inside of Mylar bags, oxygen absorbers, 20 years shouldn't be a problem. I always like to err on the side of caution, so I say about every 5 to 10 years, switch them out, especially if nothing's happened yet. Just go ahead and switch it out, unless of course there's some food gouging and price gouging and things just cost way too much. It wouldn't hurt to go ahead and just use them every 5 to 10 years. Just rotate your stock. Alright, so once you finish bagging up your whole grain oats, you want to tag it as something along those effects. Say they are whole grain oats, the date in which they expire. Remember, I like to keep it five to 10 years, even though they can last up to 20. This is just definitely keeping it on the safe side. And then I just put the sizing information. They were two pounds, 10 ounces for each canister into these one gallon bags. And what I used was, I just used the 300 cc oxygen absorbers. And before you place them to your food grade bucket, don't forget, Make sure you've clipped out the information that you want to take with you. 
especially to note the serving size because we know water is going to be scarce in this environment. So knowing that we're going to have one cup of water will, equal, will give us one serving with a half cup of oats. That's probably something important you want to know about. Place those in your bucket. I only have two packs here. So of course I'll be adding more to this bucket before I completely close it up. So hopefully this video is informational to you guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Later.